Hi there. The question is, does minoxidil work only in the crown? I have this question all the time from patients. They may have thinning in other areas of their scalp, maybe a little bit in the crown, but not only in the crown. Should they take it? The answer is, it does. It does work in other areas. We have found that the crown works the best, and that's where the studies were actually done, was in the crown. It's a much easier area to analyze and use for data purposes. But as far as preventing hair loss in other areas, it, it really does. I've had patients uh, tell me that they've had fine hairs in the hairline strengthen after Rogaine. Eyebrows come back with uh, minoxidil. So I think it's actually an effective medication. Um, it's an older medication. It's not as effective as, as uh, finasteride, but I do encourage patients to consider using it. It's very easy to use. There's topical formulations twice a day, foam, non-foam, apply to the whole scalp. Um, and it's tolerated very well. I especially encourage my younger patients to get on uh, minoxidil in addition to, say, finasteride. I tell people the more different medications you can get for hair loss, the better chance you're going to have. The reason is that each medication that you use for hair loss is not perfect. You're going to continue to thin, albeit a little bit less, but the more additional medications you can apply, the better the overall chance that you'll be able to maintain uh, existing hair. Um, also, while um, minoxidil and other medications may not regrow hair, uh, they may help to stabilize your hair. And that, I think, is critical. A lot of patients take it thinking they'll regrow all this hair back, but they just don't realize that saving hair is almost as important, or maybe more important, uh, than, than uh, gaining more hair. So I, I encourage you to consider minoxidil for not only the crown, but for the rest of your scalp. Thank you.